Falling Frontier is an upcoming space game that continues to look better and better, and today I've got some exclusive footage for you that you can't see anywhere else, so do stick around for that, we'll have a look at that in just a moment. First though, here's a very quick look at the intro to the latest trader. And you can see a brand new ship here, this is the Hanno. Also, a very quick side note here, I've got a giveaway for Odyssey, your space, your way. Watch to the end of the video for more details on that. Now right here we've got a great looking graphical effect, as these turrets move you can see them breaking off ice. Now clearly this is some sort of cutscene, either that's going to be in the game or that has been created for the purposes of this trailer. But hopefully that ice effect is going to be included in the game. You can see the ships here now are about to do a flip and burn, very much uh, inspired by well, real world physics of course, but also made famous by the Expanse. Just look at those engines, great looking stuff. So as you may be aware, Falling Frontier is an RTS game, a space based RTS game. There's a few of these around, most notably Homeworld, but Falling Frontier seems to be taking a very new and fresh approach to this. So here we do have that exclusive footage I mentioned, this was sent over by uh, publishers Hooded Horse, and what we're seeing here is a battle between uh, two different factions and three ships. Two ships on one side and one on the other. All the three ships are the type of ship known as the Hanno, but there's two different patterns on display here. The one we're currently looking at is the Mars pattern, and it has, well, the main difference here seems to be missile launchers and on the front of the ship. The other two ships are the Titan pattern, and they opt for turrets on the bow of the ship. Now, there's a lot of new things that have been added into the game since our last look at it, and we go through these as we work onto the video. You can see some volumetric lighting here that's been cast by the lightning down on the bottom right hand side of the screen. The lightning, it turns out, could be pretty interesting because at times it can strike the asteroids, causing them to be flung out into space and they can hit your ship, causing either damage or destruction. You'll also have noticed the background chatter going on there. This has been improved over the uh, previous iterations. Now, another rather interesting thing going on here is the addition of a slow motion mode. It seems, although not entirely clear, that this can be activated at will, and it will allow players to keep a better track of both strategy, tactics, and combat. Also, as you can see there, the ships are fully physicalized, which means, yes, impacts do and can happen. Now, the two remaining ships do look in a pretty bad way, in pretty poor shape, you can see flames spewing out certain areas. Damage is modelled on the specific areas of the ships, so when a missile hits or when other weapons hit the ships, the specific area on which they hit will, will take the damage, and you'll see that appear in both physical damage and decal form. So those effects will be applied to the exact area which the weapon hit. It's a nice touch, and it really does seem to add to the feel of the game, at least based on what we're seeing. The weapons also do look really nice, some uh, turret fire going forward there and some missiles coming back, all of which appear to be hitting as the PDCs are no longer doing their job. And you'll see that the uh, missiles are indeed doing damage. What's more, the areas where uh, fire breaks out on the ships, these are actually uh, physical fires and they will eventually wrap, wrap around the uh, mesh of the ship encasing uh, certain parts of the ship's hull. So a very nice looking environment here all set within one of the game's many clouds. Elsewhere, let's take a look at the footage that you may have seen over on IGN. This is the brand new trailer for the game, and yes, it gives us some more insight as to the combat. Again, two variants of the Hanno here, the Titan pattern as well as the Mars pattern. You can also see the missile fire here, as from the previous footage, there's a heck of a lot of missile fire going on, and this is actually a good time to point out that missiles are tracked. Each missile is individually tracked. Some will hit, some will miss, others will be taken down by PDCs. You'll also see throughout this video plenty of times where the footage goes into slow motion mode, as we're seeing right here. Again, this gives the player opportunities to import commands and really get a feel for what's going on in the situation. Now, something you may be able to notice if you look close enough when some of these ships, one of these ships is actually destroyed in a bit, are the escape pods. 
Escape pods are, again, physicalized. This means they do exist within the game. They're not just uh, artwork that uh, sport just dis disappears. They're not just visual assets. They are physically in the game. And this quite possibly, speculation here, ties into what we've heard previously about the game, that certain members of your crew can and will be captured. Now, command crew are especially important as they add to the stats of your ship, so having them either killed or taken will be a, quite a blow indeed. And officers in general will also have knowledge about the, uh, well, the plans, about whatever your side is up to, and this information can fall into enemy hands. Okay, something really interesting going on here is some friendly fire. One hit going there from the uh, Mars Patton Hano ship straight into the side of the other. Also, another friendly fire hit there. And I think this is really interesting because keep in mind that the developers have chosen to include this in the footage on display. And that likely means this isn't a bug, it isn't down to poor AI, but it's intentional gameplay. So the way I see it is one of two things have happened here. Either the player has issued a command to the ship and not thought through the full consequences of their actions, which resulted in the friendly fire, or else the player has left the uh, ships to their own devices, in which case they may have done something a bit dumb. And I'm siding likely with the uh, former issue here that the player issued some uh, silly, uh, ill-thought-out commands. Some nice explosions for the ship there as well. So, there we have it. Another look at Falling Frontier. Each time we get to see this game, it does seem to have some dramatic improvements. And yes, it is looking really good. No word yet on a release date. I do believe still, uh, Steam still says at 2023 for the release. But I guess we'll have to see how that goes. We're nearly halfway through the year right now. So, you know, fingers crossed, maybe at some point we'll get that much-anticipated release date. Also... Uh, but going back to that giveaway I mentioned out at the beginning of the video, this is for the game I covered a little while ago called Odyssey, Your Space, Your Way. I have a number of keys to give away. These will be done as with the previous giveaways via Discord. I won't be giving anything away in the uh, comments section here on YouTube due to the amount of scamming that is going on. But if you do want to get involved in that, do take a look at all the instructions that you can find in the video description. That will give you everything you need to know. So there we have it, another look at Falling Frontier. Do let me know in the comments section below what you think of all this. What are you most interested to see in this game? As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.